Okay, so what do I want to talk about today? Well, first of all, you'll probably see I'm not wearing a scarf or a jumper. It's actually kind of warm today, but we still got this storm, Bertie or whatever. So stupid, but that's life in the United Kingdom. Um, anyway, what do I want to talk about today? Something I absolutely hate are visual bells and audible bells. And uh, basically they're a big pain to get turned off on X11. Well, the visual bell is for X term or whatever terminal you're using. is probably more an X term problem. Anyway, I find it really frustrating. I've got it set up on my other computer. And to be honest, I don't know why it works perfectly on that and not on this, but these are the instructions. Hopefully they work. If not, I don't know, maybe put something in the comments below. Maybe I'll do another video about this in the future, but bear with me and we'll see how this works. So the first one is the visual, uh, no, the audible bell. You might not be able to hear that. Now you can probably hear it. it it's awful. I hate it. Quite simple to turn off. Um, use, let's make this bigger. Still doing it. So you can use X set B off, I believe. Now, nothing. Perfect. Now, I don't know if it resets on when you do a reboot the computer or you resource um, the graphical environment, whatever, but you can. This is what I would do. This is what I've got set up on my other computer. If you go into the config i3 and go down to basically where you load up your guys it's so big now your uh, terminal let's find it here somewhere it's going to be here somewhere here we go so obviously at the moment it's just loading up x term but um, if you put a semicolon x set B off semicolon that should work that should work so um, ah no no good job I checked you need to exec it exec execs the program so exec XB exec B off okay and then every time you load up a terminal X term it should have no audible bell now here's the problem the visual bell as you can see oh, no. what am I doing as you can see I come out of this um, you can see it's doing this annoying thing where it loads up a new terminal and flashes it also does, I don't know why it's not doing it now, it's so unpredictable, I don't really understand why, but if you backspace or whatever, you do the visual bell, you get the visual bell, the flash, right? It can't do anything else, so it flashes the screen. So let me come out of these. Let me come out of this. <sighs> so annoying. Um, there's one way you can do it with X term, which is, um, I guess I could, maybe it's turned off now because I've been fiddling around. But you can run X term and then do VB and as you can see that turns on the visual bell it's like strobe lighting, it's horrific Okay. now if you do X term um, plus VB you can see it doesn't do it, but it still does that flash on terminal I don't know why it does that, it's sort of inconsistent my virtual, this is actually my proper testing my virtual machine it doesn't I don't, or it doesn't do as much, I don't really know why but you should be able to set in your X resources, X, def X defaults, whichever it is. So this is how it should be done. Uh, visual L and then false. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Visual bell false um, like that and then do it in the X defaults again. This is why I just use a TTY for so much. It's just, honestly, or compile. I know simple terminal. That's probably that's probably the best way to do it, really. But I got my own issues with that. 
because of uh, repositories, whatever. I don't want to have to compile it. Um, anyway, so again, false. And if you wanted the opposite, you'd have true. Why you'd want true, I don't know. Maybe you're a masochist. Um, so yeah, that should work. And then obviously, uh, when you start up your graphical environment again, that should um, turn it off. But as you can see, obviously, if I killed this now, it would kill my record. Um, yeah, so basically, it's a big pain. And um, that should work for you. I don't, maybe it's just me. But that should work for you. That should turn it all off. Just, um, I don't know, source the files again, restart the computer. That should do it for you. That's the instructions. I'm not even, I mean, I don't even know if I should put these in the, in the um, thing. Maybe I should put capital F for false. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, maybe that's why. I don't know. Okay, try that, or I don't know. Capital F. Doesn't seem the syntax doesn't seem right somehow. Anyway, just I don't know. Play around with. Put something in the comment section. You know, I do my usual. Fake YouTube like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Anyway, this has been too painful for me, but I hate it. Hopefully it works for you. It's not a big problem for me on my main production machine. It seems to work, and I'm not sure why it's not working on this. But yeah, that's supposed to be what you do. Anyway, this is a terrible video, but it's kind of necessary. Maybe I'll do a follow up in the future. Yeah, that's it.